Another bitterly disappointing night for the Raptors as they fall big again in Philly and are 0-2 in this series. We're going to break down everything for you in today's postgame show. Welcome, Raptors fans, to tonight's postgame show on Amateur Hour Clips, your source for the best postgame show on YouTube for every single Raptors playoff game. This video is powered by Betstamp. Use the Betstamp app for the best in sports bet tracking and odds finding. Betstamp is not a betting site. It wants to help you make money by shopping the best lines for the sports wager that you were going to make anyway, completely for free. Right now, you can use the link in the description to sign up and download the Betstamp app and use code RAPS as your referral code to let them know that I sent you there. But let's get into our content for today. The Raptors fall 112-97 to the 76ers. And this one was ugly. Honestly, score line does us a lot of favors here. We were a lot worse than the score line suggested. Uh, first half, I mean, I think the game can really be separated into two halves here uh, for the Raptors. Um, this music is a little bit too upbeat for me. This, this, this can really be separated into two halves. Um, we'll start with the first half. And then we'll go with the second half. We'll go chronologically here. First half was absolutely ruined by the refs. Absolutely ruined by the refs. Uh, I really don't like to put it at a big focus in my post-game shows. And the refs, I talk about the refs in my post-game shows when the officiating is poor. It was absolutely horrendous. It was, it was diabolical from the officials, uh, might I say. Uh, at halftime in this one, the Sixers had taken 23 free throws. The Raps had taken seven. Uh, granted, some of those free throws were deserved by the Sixers. A lot of them weren't. Uh, it, 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 it was really difficult to watch. I felt like, you know, if you were an NBA neutral fan, this game would have been absolutely unwatchable. If you weren't a Sixers or Raptors fan, every time the Sixers went up the floor, they got a foul call. Either they made a basket or the rest bailed them out with a foul call. At, at some point, the Raptors have to be allowed to play defense. Like, if, if, the Raptor, if a Raptor player is there in the paint holding his ground... He's allowed to occupy that space. If Joel and B, James Harden barge into that spot and initiate the contact and can't shoot as normally as they would like, it's not a foul. The Raptors have to be able to play defense or else this series is fucking done in four. They have to be allowed to play defense. That wasn't the case in the first half whatsoever. The Raptors did a great job of, of really maintaining their offense, especially for the first quarter, but there was just nothing they could have done to combat the officiating that they got. Uh, throughout most of the first half um not much more can be said i thought the raps were, were pretty good defense wasn't great but like every time they did try to play defense the ref said no second half was different second half was really different other than the 15-0 run the raptors had which was preceded an 8 run by the sixers other than that raptors were horrendous in the, in the second half they like really different to what game one was where Throughout the entire game, I mean, at least up until the fourth quarter, I did feel like the Raptors had it in them to mount a comeback. Whereas this one, they provided me no hope whatsoever. Uh, shots weren't falling, and I can put that a little bit on the players. Fred Van Vliet started the game four for six from, from three, went one for 10 from three for the rest of the game. Pascal Siakam, though he had 20 points and seven for 20 shooting with 10 rebounds, five assists, good stat line, missed a lot of really good looks at the rim. Achua... Missed some good looks at the rim. OG was fantastic. 26 points, 10 for 14 from the field. Like, we'll take that. Gary Trent was sick. Apparently, I am as well. Uh, Gary Trent was sick, so didn't give us anything at all. It was probably just a miracle that he even suited up to begin with. Uh, but when, you know, you got only two guys, reliable floor spacers and Fred and Gary, uh, one of them can't shoot. The other one physically can't shoot. Uh, it's going to be a problem. Spacing was a problem. And the Raptors had no answer. Their offense was completely dry for the second and third quarter. 19 points in each of those quarters. Uh, there wasn't really anything they could have done to get back into this game. And Sixers just con continued to mount it on, even without like as much ref help in the second half. Uh, they only took seven free throws for the entire second half. They, the refs cooled off, we'll say that. Things need to change. Part of the reason Fred Van Vliet did struggle a lot, and this is the point I'm going to get to, Nick Nurse was terrible in this game. Nick Nurse was just awful in this game. Fred Van Vliet played the entire first half and started four for six from three, which is great. You could tell as he continued to shoot, continued to shoot, 
did not have the legs, did not have the arms. He kept shorting his three-pointers. He was tired. Siakam, who played 41 minutes tonight, played most of the first half, like, like all but two minutes. You could tell he was tired, wasn't hitting the shots. You're accustomed to seeing him easily hit at the rim. Like, that's not just like a knock on Siak. Like, they were tired. Sure, they could have hit those shots still. Sure, they could have hit some of those shots still. And we'll put that on the players as well. Nick Nurse, like, hung them out to dry in this game. Really did. Like, did they need to finish the fourth quarter? Did they need... Did Fred need to play those 44 minutes on his bad knee? 44 minutes for Fred. Did he need that? Absolutely not. Um, also on Nick, lack of adjustments again made, like, like... The Raptors are better than this. The Raptors are flat out better than this. Um, straight up. They're a better team than this. I thought at the very least this would be a close series. Uh, so far it hasn't been. Um, key is, I, I've been saying, the series doesn't start until a home team loses. So by that logic, Raptors just got to go home and win both their games. You know, a lot easier said than done. <laughs> Raptors win their two home games. Series is 2-2. It's simple. We kill the Batman. It's not just going to come up like that, right? Uh, and, and the notion we've gotten from these two games, losing by 15 and losing by 20, is that Philly are going to walk into game three, just do the exact same things they've been doing, continue to get their calls, continue to get Embiid looks on the inside, and they're going to win the game. That's just that's just the way the, game is, the games have gone so far. Nick Nurse has to make adjustments. The Raptors players, a lot of them straight up just have to be better. Defensively, like... They were gassed, albeit, uh, but but Fred got burned way too often on defense. Uh, and I think like not just him, but other players as well could fit in that. Just Fred, it was, it was very glaring to me. like He was not keeping up with opposition players. Um, all that being said, let's go into a little bit of the stats that did go into this performance. So, uh, like I said, Siakam, 20 points, 7 for 20. He was gassed, like like he could have been better, but he was gassed. Fred, 7 for 23 from the field, 5 for 16 from 3. He started so well. He had like 14 in the first quarter, did nothing the rest of the game really. OG was great with the 26 points. Bench, Boucher, shout out him. He was awesome today. Uh, 30 minutes, we really missed him in game one because he was in foul trouble. Uh, Flynn, 21 minutes with no points. I mean, I thought he played okay, but he's just got to find a way to also help you on offense. Thad, not many minutes. He, he was injured. He's got the thumb injury. Uh, it is what it is there, man. Six or side of things. Lots of players had good nights. Harris continued to play well, as did Maxi. You held hard into three for nine shooting, but Embiid beat you up. Nine for 16 from the field. <laughs> My God, 14 free throws. 12 of which were in the first quarter. So first quarter was a real tough watch. Raptors actually won the first quarter, which is even crazier considering that. 31 points for Joel Embiid, which means actually uh, our lock of the day has once again cashed. I just didn't think Embiid would get that many points despite getting 19 in the first quarter. So uh, follow that on bet stamp, code wraps, follow amateur hour, bet stamp, a little plug in the middle. Um, but the team stats, like possession battle. Look, look, look at us. We, we did our job here, right? Won the possession battle. We took 20 more shots than them. Extra 13, like 13 offensive rebounds, so there's seven. Um, we force more turnovers and lose by 15. We just didn't shoot well enough. It's on the players. It's on Nick Nurse. They shot exceptionally well. Part of that is the free throws. They shot 18 more free throws than us. That should be a problem for the officials, in my opinion. That really should be a problem for the officials. Getting that many more free throws. Like, come on. That many more free throws. That's crazy. 30 to 12. You see it in the scoreline. More of a, I mean, the shooting as well. We got to do a better job all over the court. The refs need to do a better job. Let our guys play defense. Raptors players need to do a better job at making use of the good opportunities that this really good Philly defense is not providing them a lot of. Nick Nurse needs to do a better job of maximizing the output of his players by giving them the rest they need and deserve. So they can be their best on the court. Two and three go go together a little bit. Um, and with all those things, I mean, we're, we're in must-win situation now. Today was not must-win. Tomorrow is. Not tomorrow. Um, Wednesday? Wednesday is. You don't win Wednesday. This series is over. You win Wednesday, you give yourself a fighting chance. You stay at home on Saturday, make that series 2-2. 
any just as good of a chance to win this series. You got momentum going back to Philly, as far as I'm concerned. But we aren't even talking about game game four. Game four doesn't matter unless you do your job in game three. Do your job in game three. Offense continues to struggle. Defense continues to struggle. Don't know how we're going to do it. But this team is good enough. They showed it all season. They are good enough. They need to win game three. The way they played in games one and two showcase not a lot of hope. Like if you're a Sixers fan, I'd be, I wouldn't blame you for being confident you can win this series in four, like max five. If you're an NBA neutral fan watching this series, I wouldn't blame you for singing, thinking the same thing. Because the Raptors have not shown or given any indication of how good of a team they are. They are way better than this. They're not showing it. And they haven't, they haven't like made it seem like they are going to show it at any point. They better do it in game three or this series is over. Thanks so much for watching this post game show. We do one of these for every single Raptors game. So make sure you're subscribed. Sign up to BetStamp with code RAPS. Join the Amateur Sports Discord. Links in the description for everything. And I'll see you again next time after game three for another post game show. Let's go Raptors.